Today, I'm going to take you along to finish my sweet ornament. I gathered all my supplies, ribbons and wooden balls and fabrics, and I made a mess on my design table and then decided, oh, better clean it up before I get started. So here I am just organizing all the options that I had pulled out to see what was going to work best for the ornament. I've got it all figured out and then we're going to get started on putting it together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the piece and measured three and a quarter by four and a half. So I ended up cutting my sticky board three and three quarters by five and so what I do is I definitely mat a batting on the back of my sticky board and I mark the center so it's easy for me to center the graphic and then I'm going to mark center lines on the graphic using pencils so then you'll see later on how it makes it so much easier to turn it around. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to realize that I hadn't plugged in my glue gun and go plug that in. I've got my sticky board from Joann's that I'm using. I use a different rotary cutter just for sticky board, not my fabric one, a special one just for boards. So I've got this great gingham fabric. It's just from Walmart. I could use a good one, but you know, it's just the back of an ornament. So I always put my check on a diagonal because I think that looks fun. Um, so I've got them all figured out centered. I take them over to the ironing board and iron them up. Um, and then I'm going to glue them down and I'm going to use a pencil to get into those tight corners just to make sure that the corners get nice and tight and crisp. And I'm going to do that with both the front and the back sticky boards. You'll see later on how I put it together. Um, let's see. So I put those all together and that's topped this side. And so now it's time to get the piece mounted on the board. So again, I've got my center hash lines. I'm matching up all those center lines, those four points. So that way, when I'm centering with the glue gun, it's easy and I know that the Santa is perfectly centered on the front of the board. So again, I'm paying close attention to the corners. They're not quite so tight because there's the bulk of the batting and all of that but I do like a nice tight corner. And so the next thing I'm gonna do is I've got my beads and I thread a big tapestry needle with some gingham ribbon and I make the bead top wire. So that way I measure, I ended up measuring and figured out that seven beads was the one. I used gingham ribbon on the inside to string it because you are gonna see just a little bit of it. I used double width. Now I've moved on to making the button. So I, um, I've got some ribbons and I'm just gonna build a ribbon on top of a ribbon on top of a ribbon. I found this super sweet upcycled sweater button. It looks like it had a little snowflake, yarn snowflake center button. I thought that was gonna be the perfect accent. It's just building the ribbon. I'm using some floral wire to wrap it to make sure that it's nice and tight and holds. Um, so I use the floral wire, I attach the ribbon build on top of the ribbon, use just a little bit of glue gun to attach that sweater button to the center, and now it's time to put it all together. So of course, you know, you glue gun the hang tag, you can see to the middle, and then I'm going to sandwich the two front and back boards together. Then I'm going to put some glue on the actual piece, taking close to consideration just to make sure you smush it good. Then I'm going to attach the bow and she's gonna be ready. I think she turned out so sweet. I hope you like her. <laughs> 